Paradoxically, the world of concealed carry is getting bigger and bigger, with more options springing up all year round. We all know that 2024 is just right around the corner, but even though the year hasn't folded yet, we already have fresh prospects for concealed carry handguns in the coming months. With that being said, the principles of choosing concealed carry weapons remain the same. Obviously, you should be able to hide them effortlessly, as that is what they are all about. Of course, they should be reliable and accurate, as who wants to engage in a sudden combat scenario with a gun that fails from time to time. Hello, everyone. This is Ted from Line 45. In this video, I compiled a list of all the best concealed carry guns you should check out in 2024. These are the handguns you can trust through thick and thin, allowing you to survive potentially dangerous situations as you navigate this ever-growing, uncertain world. Before we get underway, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it is a chore, but these simple clicks help my channel immensely. Now let's return to the video. Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS. Yes, it is close to 2024, but the Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS is still one of the most effective concealed carry pistols out there. Of course, it deserves its spot on this list. Its reliability is second to none. It's a Glock after all. It also boasts an extensive aftermarket, which is ideal if you are looking to upgrade the pistol. Despite being a high-capacity handgun, the Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS remains a very concealable gun. Its width is just 1.34 inches, and it comes with a length of 7.28 inches and a barrel length of 4 inches. Meanwhile, the gun stands at 5 inch flat. If the gun is empty, it only weighs about 23.6 ounces, which is definitely light. The Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS is also user-friendly. It is suitable for both left-handed and right-handed shooters, thanks to its ambidextrous slide stop and reversible magazine release. Compared to the Gen 4 models, the Glock 19 Gen 5 doesn't have finger grooves on its grips. It also has two interchangeable backstraps for finding the ideal fit. One of the biggest upgrades in the Gen 5 versions of Glock 19 is the inclusion of front slide serrations. It is very handy for those who are constantly pressing checks. They aren't that aggressive and deep though, but they work nonetheless. The factory sights of Glock aren't that impressive. You can get used to them, but I suggest replacing them with different aftermarket options. Meanwhile, its trigger seems fine. It has a smooth pull, breaks cleanly, and offers a short and crisp reset. While they are better aftermarket replacements for their default trigger, I don't think you should swap them right away. By the way, the MOS in the Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS stands for Modular Optic System. This is a simple configuration crafted by Glock engineers to streamline the way you mount optics on their guns. The standard MOS configuration includes a MOS adapter plate that could fit Holosun, Amariglo, and Trijicon optics. Canik TP9 Elite SC. The latest pistols of Canik are rather stellar and noteworthy. The TP9 Elite SC, being among the fresh batches of Canik firearms, is a handgun designed for concealed carry applications. Well, this is a subcompact pistol anyway, so what can you really say about it? I had a number of field tests with this gun, and I can say that it did deliver what it promised. It is easy to shoot, accurate, and holds its reliability as its selling factor. This semi-automatic pistol is chambered in 9mm. Its standard flush fit mag fits 12 rounds, while its extended mag holds 15 rounds. The gun is about 6.7 inches long, while its barrel sits at 3.6 inches. It has a slim profile as well as its body is just 1.45 inches wide. Needless to say, the gun is pretty light. It is only 24.8 unloaded and doesn't pack the bulkiness of some of its counterparts. It's also an ergonomic handgun. It has an ambidextrous slide release and swappable magazine release for both left and right-handed shooters. A 1913 Picatinny rail is also present, allowing you to mount lights and lasers conveniently. The bore axis of the TP9 Elite SC is somewhat big, but it helps the gun attain a natural point of aim. So, in actual combat, expect precision and shooting comfort while using this firearm. And I also have to emphasize its amazing slide release. Despite having large hands, I can still hit it. But don't get me wrong. The release is low profile enough to prevent snagging. While the gun stays under the $500 price point, the TP9 Elite SC has stunning reliability and accuracy. Paired with its intuitive features and controls, the gun is an excellent contender for a value-oriented handgun in the subcompact category. 
It's a good EDC weapon this 2024. Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro. Glock 19 has dominated the concealed carry market for quite some time already. From time to time, emerging competitors try to oust this polymer pistol in its east, with the Sig Sauer P365 and Hellcat being the most successful. The Hellcat offers a higher capacity than a standard P365, which only has 10 rounds of 9mm on its flush fit magazine. On the other hand, the original Hellcat hosts 11 rounds of 9mm. But there were still limits to the Hellcat. Since it is a small gun, shooting it comfortably was a challenge. Of course, this is an issue for all small handguns. So what Springfield did was upgrade the Hellcat and introduce the Hellcat Pro OSP. Similar to the Glock 19, the Hellcat Pro comes with a standard 15-round capacity. And if that's not enough for you, Springfield offers 17-round magazines for this handgun. These mags have base plates and two additional witness holes. It is a striker-fired pistol that features the perfect combination of a steel slide and polymer frame with a nice melony finish. It's interesting to note that its slide is milled to accommodate micro-red dot optics. It should be compatible with the Hex Wasp and Shield RMSC. You can fit the Holosun 507K optic on this handgun, but you should configure the lugs on its slide first. The dimensions of the Hellcat Pro are similar to the Sig Sauer P365XL. It has a 3.7-inch cold hammer forged barrel. It still is a compact weapon, but very easy to shoot, thanks to its longer and blockier grip. Its corners are rounded, too. Hence, hand sculpting is no longer a problem. Meanwhile, the texturing of the Hellcat Pro is virtually similar to its predecessor. While this handgun doesn't have a beaver tail, it still has a properly routed tang. Interfacing with it is pretty much comfortable, even if you have massive hands. With that being said, shooters with small hands might encounter issues with this tang. All of the controls of this gun are placed conveniently. They are accessible and can be engaged with little to no fuss. When it comes to actual performance, I doubt that the Hellcat Pro will disappoint you. I fired 200 rounds of CCI 115 grain FMJ from this pistol, and I experienced zero malfunctions. It remained accurate, too. Staccato 2011 C2. If you want to go high-end, then Staccato C2 is the way to go. Well, for starters, the Staccato 2011 C2 is priced at $2,000, making it the most expensive pistol we have on this list. So the question of many people is whether or not this pistol is worth its price. And let me give you a hint. It is. Right from the get-go, the Staccato C2 is a beautifully crafted gun. It has the reminiscent appeal of the 1911 but remains to be modern and sleek. And unlike Gucci guns, the C2 isn't overly designed. The pistol features a polymer grip, while its slide and frame are made from rugged metal. It's fairly hefty for a concealed carry, I suppose, with a double-stack capacity that boasts a 16 plus 1 capacity. Overall, the gun weighs around 25 ounces when empty, with an overall length of 7.4 inches. Its slide is built with a match-grade 3.9-inch bull barrel and offers an exceptionally nice trigger pull of 4 to 4.5 pounds. There's a minimal uptake before hitting its wall. The trigger breaks cleanly, too. Reset is tactile and audible, which are expected for a high-quality pistol like the Staccato C2. A Picatinny rail is also included in the construction of the Staccato 2011 C2 for attaching lights and lasers. There's also a spacious polymer trigger guard and a low-profile undercut that gives way to a firmer, steadier grip while shooting this pistol. The textures aren't that aggressive, but I guess that it makes sense considering that this gun is intended for concealed carry purposes. The good things don't end there. You see, the C2 includes an ergonomic magazine ejection action. It kicks the spent mag from the magazine well without any difficulty. And while the Staccato C2 doesn't have flared magazine mag wells, reloading remains speedy. And that's an ability you need for a concealed carry weapon. Furthermore, the Staccato C2 is an exceptionally reliable handgun. It can shoot any ammo you feed into it, and by firing a couple of hundred rounds, the gun stays malfunction-free. Recoil is negligible and its accuracy is visible even at 50 yards. With these qualities, the C2 is legit one of the best concealed carry pistols in 2024. Sig Sauer P365X Macro Comp Romeo Zero Elite. The X Macro is the latest innovation in the P365 series. 
Needless to say, all of us are impressed by how good these pistols are, especially in the context of concealed carry purposes. The idea of concealed carry pistols is usually a trade-off. Once you prioritize concealability, you lose functionality. But things changed when the P365 lineup was introduced in the market. It eventually got even better when the X Macro Comp came right after. What we have here is the P365 X Macro Comp Romeo Zero Elite, which is a step-up version of a standard X Macro. It offers a class-leading capacity of 17 plus one rounds, with its flush-fit double-stack magazine fitting into its thin frame. Aside from its full-size capacity, I primarily adore the X Macro Comp Romeo Zero Elite due to its integrated compensator. And we all know what these compensators do. They reduce the muzzle flip of guns, ensuring that you can do quick and accurate follow-up shots. This is the functionality that this concealed carry pistol retained despite compacting its size. It is easy to shoot, with no quirkiness whatsoever. The compensated slide also includes an optics cut and a Romeo Zero red dot sight. This particular upgrade enables faster target acquisition so that you can respond to any situation with ease. By all means, this red dot sight is durable. It uses the Spectracoat HD polymer lens, which has 10 times more impact resistance than other optic lenses. Aside from this generous inclusion, the P365X Macrocomp Romeo Zero Elite has three interchangeable backstraps. They come in different sizes so that you can find the most comfortable fit. Interestingly, the grip module of this semi-automatic pistol has a standard 19 to 13 rail, which should allow you to attach different accessories with a total length of 6.6 .6 inches and a barrel length of 3.1 inches. Concealing the P365X Macro Comp Romeo Zero Elite is quite doable, especially with the use of IWB holsters. It doesn't snag and can be drawn out quickly so that you can hit back whenever it's needed. In a nutshell, the Sig Sauer P365X Macro Comp Romeo Zero Elite is a next-level striker-fired concealed carry pistol. You should check this 2024. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe.